everybody, Sue here from Sierra Sewing, Quilting, and Vacuums, and today we are going to play with our performance icon from FAF. So this is an amazing machine. It has all kinds of fabulous stitches, and it has several categories of stitches that are exclusive to FAF. So today we're going to be playing with what we're calling the floating stitch. So see how it kind of floats in between the fabric? You don't see a stitch that joins those two elements together. So that's what we call a floating stitch, and it's really cool, and again, exclusive on FAF sewing machines. So let's show you how we're gonna do that. When you open your menu, I am going to toggle over, and this is in category eight, which is techniques, and then you'll see all the specialty techniques. The one we're gonna work with today is 8.5, the floating stitches. So when I open that, there are 15 different choices that I can do. So we'll just do this first one here. This is like a little plus sign. Now, another really amazing thing about this machine is if I forget how to do it, it has really good tutorials built in. So I go into the Help Center, and this is in the Techniques and Tutorials, and I am going to go to Sewing Techniques, and then Exclusive te Stitch Techniques and you can see pictures of what each one's gonna do. So what I'm trying to do is the floating stitch. I just select that, and there is a step-by-step -step menu of how I'm gonna do that. This lists the um, accessories that I'm gonna need to complete that, and as I scroll through there, this is actually a little video that plays, and it's going to demonstrate exactly how I'm gonna make that stitch. So I think that is a really amazing feature to this machine. But for now, we'll just kind of go through it and start with this. So I'm going to select my um, first stitch, and this is like a little plus sign. So super easy to stitch out. What I'm going to do, I've just got a piece of fabric here, and I'm going to fold it where I want those... Um, floating stitches to be, and I'm gonna put a little strip of stabilizer behind that, because that's gonna keep it all nice and flat. And actually, the stitch is going to stitch outside of the fabric, so I need that stabilizer to complete that stitch. And I look at my menu here, this tells me what foot I'm gonna use. Now this doesn't give me a number, it just gives me a plus sign, which means it's not one of my typical feet that I'm gonna use. This is actually what we call a bi-level foot. And the cool thing about the bi-level foot is it's got this little flange in the middle, but it's still gonna let me um, do decorative stitches that are wider on each side. So that's the foot that it's recommending for this stitch, so we'll go ahead and use that. It tells me what we want to activate our IDT, and this means we want stabilizer behind it. So we are all set. I'm ready to stitch that out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just inside the fold. I don't want to get too close to the fold because then my little flange kind of scoots off of it. So I'm just going to go right inside that fold and it's actually going to stitch off and partially onto that stabilizer. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my start stop button here. <laughs> And then when we get toward the last stitch, I can touch my scissor icon and it's going to complete that last stitch, tie it off, and cut it. There we go. And I just pull that off. So now I've got my row of little plus signs. I'm just going to kind of tear this stabilizer away. And then this is where the magic happens. When I open this up, when I unfold that, you see all those plus signs that it stitched out. Is that not cool? I love that. So there it goes, just like that. So this is what I did when I was playing around at home, just some scrap fabric, but I'm um, I used some of the different stitches. Some of them are just bar tacks. Some of them make little stars. We've got little bows, little circles. But I can imagine this as like the top of a little girl's dress, maybe. I don't know. I would pre-stitch out the fabric before I cut it out. But isn't that fun? And then here is another use for those floating stitches. I can use that to join two different pieces of fabric. So instead of folding it, I'm going to take this 
And I am just going to add, let's do another white strip over here. And again, I just cut little strips of stabilizer to stick behind here because you just need a little skinny piece. Uh, get that lined up there. Let's pick a different stitch this time. So I'm going to scroll through here. Let's do, I don't know, I like these little bow ties. Those are fun. So this time, since I'm joining this seam, I want to go in a little bit farther. So I'm just going to use the edge of my foot against the edge of that fabric as a guide. Again, just with my start stop button. And again, I'm just going to tear off that stabilizer. And this is just stitch and tear. So it tears off really easy. I used to worry about getting every fiber of it off. But when I realized when you wash it, it just kind of goes away anyway. I don't worry so much about all that anymore. So again, I've got my little row of bow ties there. I'm going to open this up. And as I pull that apart, magically they appear in between the rows of fabric. And it's going to be a really strong stitch because in between each one of those, you still have that stabilizing stitch back there too. So it's going to hold it together like a regular seam. You've just got that really cute little bow tie in between there. So anyway, I think that makes a great piece of fabric to use for something. I can't wait to see what I figure out to do with this one. Because <laughs> I think it's really fun. And it's just a really cool technique, again, exclusive to the Faf machines. So um, anyway, just another fun thing to play with. I hope you have fun with this one. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.